this is my number two for today. I really like to use up this green, but I don't want to be reckless with it. So that's the green. Well, went crazy with the gold. Curious what that's going to do. Nicolazzo gold. And these paints are feeling so good. Look how they're just drizzling and running off the stick here. It's just gorgeous. So smooth. I love when it's like this. Love it. My Chantilly. Prison pour combination. The Chantilly lace pearl combination. By Golden. This is Golden's Iridescent Bronze. And... This crazy micaceous oxide black, carbon black combo. And I don't know what the point is of the micaceousness iron. <laughs> but what it does do, from what I can tell, is it provides a, like a, um, it makes it chalky. Like it's dusty. Cool effect, you know, I've never played with it before. Not with a bloom, anyway. I put it in cloud pours a long time ago. If you like, please note my American Flow Trial Cell Activator recipe above. All right, everyone, this is real time. In my usual way, I talk through the blowout. I'm blowing straight down into the cell activator to start with. And then once I start to see a cell form, I try to blow it out. Now, right there, it didn't want to go. I don't know why. So I had to go to the other side to find the ridge to blow the cell activator out over it. So I keep blowing it out like I'm blowing a wave into shore. And then I go back to that first side that didn't want to cooperate. And I give a few huffs and puffs trying to get it to go. And finally do get it to move a little bit. But that white just did not want to spread. So sometimes each blowout is different from the others. So all I'm doing here is just spreading the pillow out over the sides and edges so that when I get ready to spin, the composition has a nice smooth place to flow to. Hmm, I don't have enough paint. La 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 la. Just a dab will do me. That's unusual that I don't put enough pillow down. That's weird. Giving her a whirl, see what we get. I love this color combination. You know, it's funny, I'm so divergent. I love the beach look. I love the crazy color combinations. And I love the earth tones. Let's see where we are. Clean up a little bit. Looking freaking great. This is so much fun. I love doing that. I love doing this. I've been kind of in a funk in the last few days because I was doing resining and it kind of sets me out of my game 
for painting. But it's a necessary thing. I've got to be able to do both. Oh, jeez. This is amazing. But the trouble is when I resin, I have to kind of break things down to get set up and geared up for resining because resining is just a different animal. This black is dynamic up there. Holy cats. I'm going to try to get that off just a little bit. Let's just give it a tilt. A tilt in the direction I want the weight of the paint to go. And I've covered that in prior videos. Yeah, the micaceous oxide just dusts, makes it dusty looking. It's just a different look. Some people probably would hate it. Okay. I think it's kind of cool. It's just a different thing. It's different. I'm going to stop there. All right, here's my little number three coaster. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And if you'd like to see more Bloom creations, I'll have a link for my Bloom playlist above at the very end of this video. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.